your girl Lee here and welcome to Curveside Trends. So today we're going to be doing a um, try and haul for Shein. I'm really excited because I got some really cute pieces and I'm hoping that everything works out for the best. Mainly because I have a trip planned in two weeks and a lot of these pieces are, are for that trip. So let's hope everything works out really well. Anyway, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are not new here, welcome back, gorgeous or handsome. So let's jump right in because you know I don't like to waste time. Get into this dress. I think that this dress is going to make a really cute intro to spring piece for a few reasons. Number one, I think that the material is fairly lightweight. However, it's not too thin to the point of me being concerned about you all seeing my undergarments. And for two, I think the length on this dress is really nice. Something about it coming right below my knees just gives it this sex appeal, this va va boom that I'm absolutely loving. So this is going to be a definite hit for Shein. I'm so disappointed in these pants. I haven't met a plus size woman. I haven't met a plus size woman that's a 5X that doesn't have a little belly to work around, right? And these pants, I just can't see them fitting anyone at the size that they would select. You're going to definitely have to go up a size in these. And here's why. This is as far as I got them to go. Right around my waist. I, I mean, I'm so used to my pants just being able to pull them up and, you know, even tuck my shirt in, smooth it out. Because that's the that's the plan that I had um, when I purchased these pants was to wear something where I can tuck the shirt in and give me a nice, sleek fall look. But it's just not working out that way. Now, the thing is, I think I can take the band out that I have and put another band in because I think the material will stretch pretty far but I think the band is just cut too short I think they were trying to save money and they cut the band too short that would expand to allow me to pull them up um so overall these are as is they're just going to be a flat out miss you know they don't fit however I think I can make some alterations and make them work I already had plans to wear a pair of white leggings and then, of course, my turtleneck to make this a complete look. Um, however, I'm glad that was my original plan because for me, this dress is just entirely too short. I just don't feel comfortable wearing it out. I My mind instantly goes to the Marilyn Monroe scene where she is holding out her dress, trying to keep um, everything in. However, a few pointers though. I think that aside from the length, which is probably how it should fit, probably, probably the intended fit, um, aside from the length, everything else about this dress is absolutely perfect. I think that is constructed very well. I think the material on this is phenomenal. It's a nice velvet material. Again, the structure, the seaming, all of that is wonderful about this dress. I just personally would like to have seen it be a little bit longer, but ultimately, like I said, I have plans to wear a pair of white leggings and then layer it with this turtleneck so it's gonna be just fine it's definitely a keep for Shein but that's my only concern so overall a definite win for Shein so these pants fit fairly well in the like leg area but they do not fit as well in the upper bite like the the tummy area so what I realized and looking back at these pants on the website they're designed to fit very loose very baggy it's supposed to be that baggy feel now that is why it fits me here because they gave extra room for like the baggy look but other than that they don't fit at all and the point is though they're not cut true to size these are absolutely terribly i won't say they're terribly made i just feel like they aren't true to size so if i were able to go up to a 6x even though i'm normally a 5x i think that these would work so you you're gonna want to have to go up a size if you're considering these because they just don't come up very well here they don't come up very well here so i'm just i'm disappointed in these these were just these were not a win for me these were terrible mainly because like i said the only reason why they even fit in this area is because they're designed to be baggy and i only got the extra room by default not even by you know this being cut well and this just being an error no i got that extra room because they were it was supposed to be a lot more extra room than what i actually had in them so this is another shein piece that just fits by default and what i mean by that is although i'm going to be able to keep it and wear it and it's going to be really cute i think i'm not getting the full intended function of it if i were to try and close this it just would not happen it would be <laughs> 
just a non-starter here. So the point that I'm making is, uh, it's another piece that's just not cut true to size. Ultimately, yes, I'm going to be able to keep it. Yes, I'm going to be able to wear it. And it's going to be cute, you know? Honestly, it's going to be really cute. But for the intended default purpose of it, it's just not giving its full usage, which is, you know, the option to close it and all of that. So ultimately, I'm just going to have to count this one as a miss for that reason. It's just not cut true to size, but it fits because... It is a mess. Like, that's that's the only reason why I'm going to be able to get away with it. If I were to try and button it, like I said, it just would be a non-starter. Shein has just really been overall missing the mark so far on this haul. And I'm just pretty over it. <laughs> like, I have quite a few pieces left. And I'm just not even enthusiastic about showing all the remainder of this haul because it has been pretty terrible. But anyway, moving right along, this is a two-piece suit set. You have your blazer and your pants. The entire thing is just not true to size. It is absolutely too small. Um, the pants are, they don't come up high enough in the front, but they are even worse in the back. So that is just a no-go there. Um, I just feel really uncomfortable. And this entire outfit is just way too small. The blazer itself, I'm going to be able to kind of wear it, but only by default because it's not a button type blazer. So, you know, I can just kind of wear it as a Larry Essential. However, just overall, this was just a terrible suit set. Like, I, I just, it's, it's a non-starter for me and an absolute miss. I have been searching high and low for a either a mock neck or a turtleneck sleeveless shirt. And I was really excited when I found this one on the Shein website. However, um, it's just not a true to size shirt for me. Uh, personally, I think that if you're going to wear it with something that's going to be tucked in, then it will certainly work. But just as is, it doesn't come down far enough. And it's kind of constricting, to be honest. Um, so it's just too small. It's not cut true to size. And like I said, it doesn't come down far enough. So ultimately for its full intended purposes, I'm going to count this one as a miss. However, I'm, I'm going to be able to work with it as long as I'm wearing something where I can tuck it in and have something that just is kind of high waist. And that way I don't have to worry about this constantly coming up because I'm certain that pulling my arms up is, yeah, it's going to come right up and show my tummy. So like I said, ultimately, I'm going to count this one as a miss, but I'm going to keep it because I can wear it. I typically wear my shirt tucked anyway, so um, I'll be able to use it for that intended purpose. This duster on this set is amazing. Okay, so the length to the floor that I'm receiving, I'm really impressed with it. And the material on this is very lightweight, kind of thin to be honest, but overall very much doable. Um, so a few pointers, I think the duster fits me fairly well. Um, it does have fully functioning pockets, so that is a definite plus for me. And then, like I said, the key feature that I love about it is the maxi that we have going on here. However, the pads are a complete disappointment. I actually saw other reviews um, on YouTube and then as well, as well as the website, but I decided to give them a try anyway. They talk about how they just don't come up well enough in the back. However, I think... Um, if you do want this set, be mindful of that and also be mindful that this duster will kind of make up for that um, if you are comfortable with your pants being a little lower in the back. So overall, I'm going to have to count the entire set as a whole, as a, a definite miss because it is a little thin, but very, definitely wearable, but the pants just don't fit very well at all. That has been consistent. When it comes to Shein, for some reason, this haul, the pants have just been terribly, terribly cut. Um, but this duster is definitely a win. It's a definite hit for Shein. So it's just one of those things where it's half good, but then overall, if you got to count it as a whole, it's going to just be a miss. My typical concern when it comes to crop tops is how far down they come um, in the front and the back. Well, truthfully, all over front, back, and sides. Um... This one fits me fairly well. I, I can kind of see myself really working with this one. Um, I like the fact that I have enough room in the sleeves without feeling like I'm really stretching the fabric. That's also a concern of mine when it comes to long sleeve shirts in general. So overall, I actually think that this shirt is a definite hitch. For starters, it is cut pretty true to size. 
I'm not relying on the stretch of the fabric to make it fit. Um, also, the fabric is actually pretty good. It's a nice um, kind of solid, very sturdy material, not too heavy, but it's certainly not very thin. Um, and then too, you do have that plus of it stretching. So overall, I'm going to count this shirt as a win for Shein. This color is going to be a definite hit for Shein. So a few pointers. First of all, I think the material on this is actually pretty nice. It's a, a lighter weight material, but it's not too thin that I have concerns of my undergarments showing. You also have a lot of stretch in this as well, so that's a definite plus. But the biggest plus is the fact that although you have a lot of stretch, you're not relying on the stretch to make the outfit fit. Um, it, it's actually cut pretty true to size, so you have a lot of stretch to feel comfortable, but you're not relying on the stretch to make it fit, and therefore it stretches too much, and it, it just makes it look really cheap, and you can kind of see through it. Also, one of the main concerns I have when it comes to long sleeve, especially from places like Shein, I'm typically concerned with my arms not fitting because I do have larger arms, but I am really comfortable in this um, top, so that is a definite plus. The only concern that I have with the top is I would have preferred for my crop top to come down a little bit further. So when it comes to crop tops, um, I think they don't really take into account those who are larger up top. And so a lot of my room is taken up going outward to cover my breasts versus some girls are able to just kind of pull it down a little bit further. But other than that, I have no concerns. This is a definite plus for Shein. Oh my. <laughs> I'm just gonna be completely honest. Um, I wasn't expecting this to fit, but wow. It, it actually fits really well. Let me, let me get myself together. This was a very pleasant surprise. Um, first of all, let me say that, as you saw from the previous clip, um, this was a long sleeve shirt, and this jacket still fits me very, very well. I have enough room in the arm area. I don't feel constricted or just kind of bound down at all. Um, I, don't, I don't even have the words to describe how pleasant I, pleasantly, I was surprised with this one. So, a few pointers though. The material on this is really nice. Um, it's a it's a thicker material, definitely something that will keep you warm in the winter time, but can still kind of go for a you know fall, hmm, early early spring maybe piece. Um, but overall, I mean, this is just an amazing jacket. I think that the material is good. I'm loving the length that we're receiving um, almost to the floor. And then also, if I really wanted to, I could button it and it would be a double-breasted trench coat type of um, vibe. I just, I love this jacket. I, I just, I'm very floored. I really didn't expect it to fit, being that it was from Shein. And Shein isn't always the best when it comes to plus size um, items, especially items that don't have stretch to them, but they have thoroughly blown me away with this one. I think Shein may slowly be trying to redeem themselves. Um, I do have a jacket. It's like a shirt jacket situation that I want to try on before I really, really speak for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, two in a row here, we're doing really well. And my main concern is typically like the arm areas. And again, you see that I have on um, a long sleeve shirt under here and the arms are still really working. So that, I mean, that's the plus for me. They kind of messed me up throughout this video, but I mean, these two jackets and that I have that I've tried are really, really working out. So a few pointers. I love the length that I'm receiving on this. The arms are fitting me very, very well. That's normally my concern when it comes to jacket, that just weird constricted feeling that I have in the arms. I don't have that problem here. The material on this is really nice. Now, I will say I don't think I'd be able to comfortably zip this. I think I'd be able to zip it, but just not comfortably. So if you are wanting to zip it, um, you definitely want to want to go up a size. It does have a hood, so that's a definite plus for one of those cooler um, days that you're probably going to try to wear this with. My plan is a cute pair of drink, jeans and some sneakers, and I definitely think that this is going to be a hit for Shein. So I decided to try this on with the camera rolling, just in case I get another pleasant surprise, like that jacket, that um, trench coat, and oh my, wow. 
So, let's see. That tightness in the arms, that is my typical concern for um, long sleeve items. I'm getting that here. Um, I do think overall I will be able to keep this and make it work. However, just if you can go up a size, I would certainly suggest that you do. The 5X is the largest size that they had, and so I couldn't go up a size, but if it's possible for you, that would be my recommendation. I definitely cannot button this up, but this wasn't really something that I purchased with the intention of buttoning it up. It was more so like a um, like hilarity essential that I wanted to utilize it for. So for the purpose that I bought it for, for the purpose that I purchased this item for, I will be able to be successful in using it. However, just overall versatility and usefulness, I think it is missing some things. Like I said, for starters, I do have that tight feeling um, in the arm and shoulder connection area that I just don't like. And then also I can't button it up. But overall, I'm going to keep it because just to wear it as a cute layering piece is definitely going to be suitable. So this is going to be a flat out no for me. Um, it's one of those items that the material is very thin, very stretchy. So you're able to put it on, but you don't fit it, if that makes sense. So I'm able to put it over my body, but it just fits very ill. It's very ill-fitting. This continues to fall down. Um, also, in putting it on, I could hear like fabric popping and stretching. So just overall, it's just going to be a no. Um, few pointers, I, I just think that the material on it is very thin, not very sturdy, not very durable. Um, I also think that it's cut down. Uh, it's not cut true to size. I think if you can go up a size, definitely go for a bigger size. Um, I mean, that's it. It's cute, but it just is ill-fitting. So it's going to be a no for me. So for starters, the lengths of the floor that I'm receiving on these are, ironically, very good. However, it's not giving much here. And, and I mean, all around here, I can feel it just kind of falling it just makes me feel kind of sloppy. I don't feel like I'm covered and just kind of well put together with this. Um, the shirt that matches it, it feels just the same. Also, a big, big minus for me when it comes to this cord is the quality of the material. It is so thin, so cheaply made. Um, this is just, I, I mean, I can't do anything with it. This is going to be one that if I were to send clothes back, I would definitely send this back. But... I really just don't have the time or the patience to go through all that process. But if I were the type to send clothes back, I definitely would send this back because it's absolutely nothing that I can do with it for a few reasons. Number one, it's very ill-fitting. Number two, the material is very cheaply made. And um, number three, the structure of it is just also very terrible. Like it has this high split here on the side that's just... It just doesn't work. So if you're going to consider this, I would definitely say consider going up two sizes, not just one, but actually two sizes in order for it to fit properly. I gotta say, I really like this dress. So this dress has like a sheer overlay and then it's lined with a brown tone um, underlining. I love the way it gives me kind of like that naked feel, um, but very, still very elegant. I guess that would be the word. Um, so the lace on this is made of a velvet material, very beautiful details. I actually have nothing bad to say about this dress. It fits me very well. It hugs my curves in all of the right places. Um, the length that I'm receiving is really nice, so I can definitely see myself being able to put on an overcoat and also get away with this at work. But then I can also dress it up higher for a night on the town or kind of dress it down for just a, a cute little um, brunch with the girls. So... An overall versatile dress with really good fabric, a nice structure to it, and a very good fit. So, a win, a, a win for Shein. So, I'm not even going to lie, y'all. This haul really wore me out. Um, it was a lot of ups and downs, and it seemed like the downs were very consistent for a while. But let's get into some of these complete misses, okay? So this, I'll put a picture here for you to see what it should have looked like. Um, I can't even situate it correctly, but I will put a picture here. First, let me say that the material on this is so thin, so cheaply made. There was no way that this was going to ever hold me up. Um, I, I mean, 
Th this is for girls who are a little bit smaller up top because, yeah, that up here was just, I knew better before I even did this. I don't even know why I tried, but I mean, I've seen really good reviews about it. So I was like, well, let me just try because I've seen girls who say that they are have a larger bust and they say it really works for them. Um, but I honestly just, I think that this one was very poorly made. I think I may try another brand because I have seen some bigger girls that have these type of shirts really work, but this one was just not the move. Again, I'll put a picture here for you to see what it looked like. Um, I was actually kind of surprised that this didn't work. I think what I'll do for this is add some fabric, um, like right on the side, like right down the middle. And so that may help this because it just doesn't close. It's a button down dress. It just doesn't close because it is not true to size. If you are interested in this, I would definitely say go up probably two sizes because this is just, I mean, there's just no way they thought that this was a 5X. So a definite miss for Shein. With this dress, um, actually it's the fold of the skirt. I was really excited about this one. It was supposed to go with the the leather vest that I had. I was going, that was my intention to wear that leather vest, this skirt, and a white turtleneck shirt. That was gonna be a really bomb outfit with probably like some biker boots. And I would say go up if you are able to go up, maybe two sizes, but for certain, you're going to want to go up one size in this because it just did not fit. I think for this one, I'm going to keep it and um, I'm going to have to repair the zipper, but I'm also going to have to add some fabric, possibly on the sides, like um, rip the seams on the side and add some fabric on the side. Or maybe I will add like an, another zipper actually in the front. So I'll have two sets of zippers to expand it, um, but we'll see how that goes. Lastly, these pants, um, I could, you know how sometimes you're able to get both legs in something, but you just can't pull it up. Yeah, I couldn't even get both legs in this. I got one leg in and that wasn't even comfortable. I think one leg may have came to about right here. So with these pants, I'm going to say that you're going to need to go up two sizes easily. Um, let me check. Yeah, so this is a 5X, um, and it just, it's nowhere near fitting. Like, you're going to want to go up two sizes very easily with these pants. They're very cute. I think that the material on them is actually phenomenal. Um, but, yeah, they're just they're just terribly um, made when it comes to being cut true to size. So, two sizes up, and you have you some cute emerald velvet pants, honey. So, overall, I'm stressed out. <laughs> like... I don't know how I feel about this haul. I mean, everything wasn't a complete miss, but I certainly had some losses in here. I also feel like that jacket blew me away. But I was reading some of the reviews and it said that the jacket was kind of too big. So I'm going to say that that jacket is actually cut true to size for U.S. sizes, but maybe cut too big for um, Chinese sizes or whatever metric system they use. But I mean, just overall, I'm just kind of on the fence with this one. I, I don't even know how I feel about it. I can't completely say that, you know, Shein is a viable option for plus size girls, but they certainly have some options that work. So what I would say is if you are the type that's willing to send items back, then Shein is something that you're going to certainly want to try. However, be mindful that you don't want to try this on your way out to vacation. Like I have a solo trip plan in like a week and a half. And a lot of these items I, I had intended to wear on that trip. Luckily for me, I shop all the time. So it's going to be just fine. However, if you are planning something with this, definitely don't make this your sole option for clothing because you are likely to be disappointed and likely to have a lot of pieces missing. I mean, you're, you're about a 50-50 when it comes to Shein. So overall, I say give them a shot, but be prepared to send some things back if that's what you're willing to do. As always, I thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share my videos. Um, leave me some comments about what you thought about the haul, and then also leave me some comments about maybe some vendors that you would like me to try. Of course, I'm always open to doing so. Remember to always be kindness, love, and light. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.